Shame on you. Trouble when you walked in, Taylor Swift. Some police departments are trying new methods to catch criminals known as porch pirates, is what they call them. These alleged thieves sneak into yards and steal packages left on doorsteps. Reports show at least 23 million Americans have fallen victim to the crime, and some officers are now turning to technology for help. But critics say that raises privacy concerns. Maria Villarreal is on a porch, a real live porch near Los Angeles. Maria, good morning. Good morning. These mounted security cameras can catch the crime and sometimes the criminal, but that doesn't always happen. That's why police are making their own deliveries, using bait packages with GPS trackers inside so they can find the thief and arrest him. In Pittsburgh, Houston, and Los Angeles, these alleged porch pirates are quick and brazen. In Campbell, California, homeowner Terry Boland's security cameras caught this man approaching his porch before apparently making off with his delivery. That's one of those things in life you just don't need to go through. That motivated him to work with his local police department, who now uses his porch to drop off bait packages, hoping to lure criminals. Inside a regular shipping box, officers pack a common delivery item along with a GPS tracking device. They want to keep that under wraps so criminals don't know what to look for. We found that a lot of times these thieves are opening up the boxes before they even leave to make sure it's something that they want. So these thieves are actually getting picky? They are getting picky. The programs have been a success in several cities across the country. In Southern California, Arcadia police say more than 100 suspected thieves have taken the bait. But the tactic also raised concerns after a stolen bait package led to a high-speed chase and officers swarming a movie theater to make an arrest. While experts say these operations are legal, some say they should be regulated by court order or warrant. Citizens absolutely should be concerned about tracking technologies and law enforcement's unfettered access to tracking technologies. Another concern, some departments deliberately putting higher price items in the bait packages, which could result in a felony conviction. Bumping up the value of what's in the boxes could raise some concerns from the point of view of fairness and due process. There are critics out there that will say, you are trying to trap these thieves into a bigger crime. Is that what's happening here? This is about us identifying a trend that's happening, not only in Campbell, but throughout the country. And it's really um, a way for us to work with our community. It's a sentiment shared by many homeowners. I feel all for the program. You should feel safe and comfortable, not only in your home, but in your neighborhood. To avoid being a victim, police say have your packages delivered somewhere where someone can receive them in person, so maybe your work or a neighbor's home. They also suggest installing security cameras like this ring doorbell. That way you can deter thieves altogether. An important reminder, cameras everywhere. Maria, thank you.